house are cold. Hey, it's not cold. You're just Nash. Anyway, it'd help if you didn't walk around in these flimsy numbers. Standards must be maintained. I'm not giving up my little silk numbers for anyone. Or would you prefer me in Wincy yet? I don't care what you wear, just as long as you're here. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not exactly on farm, but... But it's ours. See, I'll compromise on some things. Yeah, but not on the essentials, eh? I have to keep you interested. I mean, Cathy's already got her foot in the door. Who knows where that could end? <laughs> you can't still care about him, Cathy. At least this way won't keep pestering you. Not with Kim breathing down his neck anyway. Yes, I know, but he's practically on my doorstep. Oh, come on. Anywhere in Emmerdale will be practically on your doorstep. Sorry, I it? just think it's really tactless. Oh, no, don't. What? Well, don't say you're still holding a torch for no, him. No, I am not. He treated you like a doormat, playing away behind your back. Practically made a laughing stock of you, Cathy. Thanks, Nick. Look, Sean's worth ten of Glover, and you know that. You can't still care about him. I'm trying to tell you I don't. You could set up a home with Pamela Anderson for all I care. I just rather he didn't do it under my nose. Alice! Alice! Come on. See you later. Come on. See ya. Thanks. Coffee? Thanks. One round or two? Are you sure? I haven't got time now. See you later. I think that's my fault. Why? I thought she'd had her shower. I dived in the bathroom. Oh, nice one. Can't put a foot right, can I? I've told you, it, it's nothing personal. Keep your head down for a few days. She's a softie at heart. She'll come round. Susie, a woman just run through to the surgery. Something about wanting her roots doing? Oh. It's in one ear and out the other with you, isn't it? Honestly. Vivian Winder? Windsor. It's over there. Viv, okay. they're beautiful. It's not your birthday, is it? No. Just a little thank you. <laughs> She's worth it. Yes, that's right, love. You go and put them in some water. <laughs> uh, Kelly, could you... I've just got to, um... I won't be a minute, Cathy. Any brekkie on the go, kids? No, the dog's had it hours ago. What have you been doing, Doc? What comes natural, son? Eh? Have a word, Mand. It's Mandy to you. Suit yourself. Come on, Zach, we'll grab a quick bite in Leeds before we get cracking. Leeds? Well, we're going shopping, aren't we, hon? We are that. <laughs> I like a man with a big wad, don't you? <laughs> Right, I think that should do it. Mind you, that's quite something. Head like a sieve, me. I didn't do that. If you just let me to do something, I could get on with it, couldn't I? I can manage. I'll go into hot and buy a new one. This was a wedding present, this was, from my Auntie Frances. I bet you don't even remember who she was. Of course I do. Love. Oh, get off me. This is typical, this is. You treat life like you're flaming shot. Everything's got a price. Babe! Break a vase, buy a new one. Accuse the wife of adultery, buy her some flowers. Well, I'm telling you, it's not going to change anything. I know that, love. I, I was just trying to say I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. Sorry I didn't go for it with Terry. Hey? You heard. He treated me nice. But then it doesn't take much these days. Fiv! Being treated like I exist. That's all it takes to turn my head. But then whose fault's that? Mm. Oh, I was going to say just a salad for me. Salad? I slaved over a hot stove for you last night. I had a bit of a heartburn. Quiet, was it? First night with the house to yourself. Heartburn. That'll be your melancholy humours. Bet you thought I learnt nothing at school. Sat at the back, staring out the window, blowing bubbles all day. Obviously not in every lesson. 
Not in, uh, what was it? Biology? History. 16th century. Mr. Newell. Dead fit he were. <laughs> now we're getting down to it. I learnt enough. Reading, writing, don't say Robin. And how to make the history teacher blush. How did you guess? Right, go on then. You've got an hour. Go and sign some papers or something. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I found them. Have you, love? Yeah, they're in that box about the airing cupboard. Ah, good. So I'll just nip up to Dave, see how he's settling in. I expect to be glad of these. Aye. I won't be long. I left us some sandwiches in the fridge. Oh, great. Hey, don't forget to tell him we we're expecting this aft. Yeah, tell me he can get his hands mucky for a change. I won't. See you later. See you, love. Right, come on, we'll get them logs finished off. Aye, aye, right. Oh, steady. <laughs> I've uh, been meaning to sort this. <laughs> what do you think you're playing at? Huh? Don't fret, lad. I'll have a bite by tea time. You missing me already? I mean the cash. This shopping trip. We don't have that sort of money to be throwing around. You might not, but I have. Yeah, but how long's it gonna last? I mean, you hardly know her. Zach! I spent 22 years with your mother, scrimping and saving and making do, and what did it get me? She took herself off, wanted something better. Well, no more. While I've got it, I'm gonna enjoy it. But what happens when you haven't? I'll still have Marilyn. Rach! We're off. Aww. Come here. Ooh. It's been great seeing you again. I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, honest, it has. But please come over, you and Chris. I'll prove it about the traffic cones. He says he's got one in every room. Old student habits die hard. I know. Look, it wasn't the drink talking. If you have second thoughts about finding a job, give me a ring. So you're looking for someone with no skills, half a degree and a baby? <laughs> oh, Miss Self-Esteem 1996. <laughs> I mean it. I could really use you. Common sense is thin on the ground. <laughs> it's Josh. Heavy squash match at one. <laughs> Take care. Thanks again, Sarah. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, Steve. Recognise these? <laughs> oh. We found them under your bunk. It doesn't change. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, they're all right. And cheap. Well, it's only temporary. What's the point in chucking money away? Oh, quite right, too. Well... Let's not bother. Let's make do with what we've got. You think you're slumming it, don't you? <laughs> you're just treating this like an outward bound course. It's as outward bound as I'll ever get. <laughs> uh, that's for you. Hiya. I gave lots up to Jumble, but I knew I kept the ones for this room. Oh. Guess what, Kim? Mum's bought some curtains around for us. <laughs> us? Yeah, Kim's moved in. Well, I've just come to drop these off. I'll not stop. No, Jan. Come in. It's not exactly homes and gardens, but please, sit down. No, oh, it wasn't when we lived here. Right, I'll put kettle on. I prefer champagne, but this'll do for now. To Kim and Dave. What's the matter? I thought you could be dancing on the tables by now. You've won. Won what? Everything. And you saw her off. You've been vindicated. I won the right to rattle around my own house. With who for company? A paid housekeeper and a dog to hollow victories. Oh, come on. Think positive. We've still got the business. The Zoe and Emma's blessing to look forward to. And from now on, you'll have as much time as you like to spend with Joseph. With your family. Who knows? You might even find yourself another woman. <laughs> Dream on. I'm sorry, son. I'm feeling a bit down today, that's all. Well, look, there's no urgency on this. I just pop round to jog your memory, that's all. About making an appointment to see the solicitor. Well, like, like I say, there's no rush. But I presumed you'd be thinking about redrafting your will again. 
That is, unless you want Kim to, to cop for the lot. Well, you don't, do you, Dad? You know what, son? You're all heart. Peggy? Dad. Dad! I told you your dad is expecting this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, he said. So how's it going on the farm, Jan? Business booming? Well, not exactly, but we're managing all right. She better keep up with the rent in her odd. Well, it's none of my concern anymore, I'm glad to say. Anyone want another cuppa? No, to, I'll be going in a minute. Yeah, I would. Thanks. First few months, I couldn't stand the taste of tea or coffee. But that's all past now, thank God. Well, good. We've signed up for the antenatal classes in Houghton. Did David mention? No, no, he didn't. He hasn't talked about the baby much. Look, Jan, I know what you think of this setup, and I know what you think of me. But look at him. Was he ever this happy with Cathy? Thanks. I was just about to say, once we've got ourselves sorted and curtains up and things, should have your mum and dad round for a meal. Yeah. What do you reckon, Mum? Yeah. Hey, not all right, though. Can't use a knife and fork yet. <laughs> well, that makes two of you. <laughs> hey, cheek. How oh, Linda can come, though. Cos she's been down to wear all. She knows how to be ever around you posh folk. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'd best be off. I've not done your dad's yarnies yet. He'll be baying for blood. Oh, thanks again for the curtains, Jan. It's really thoughtful of you. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Mum. I'll see ya. Come here, you. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, what's that made of? Thanks. What for? You know what for. For being brilliant. Hey, get off you. This is a prezzy. Who for? Our Dave. He's moved into one of the cottages down the road. Is that good? Yeah, of course it is. Somewhere for me and Biff to crash from time to time. Yeah, like every night. No. And somewhere to have a party without my mum barging in at midnight with a hoover and knocking everyone's drinks oh, over. Parties, brilliant. I thought you didn't go in for parties in Emmerdale. Why? Uh -huh. I thought you didn't go in for much in Emmerdale, to be honest. Oh, well, you've got to stick with the right people. Oh, you mean Emma and Zoe aren't the uh, right... in a word. <laughs> oh, hiya, Nick. Where's Biff? Oh, he's, uh, he's not coming. Chris has got his knickers in a twist over something, so he's sent him on an errand. Oh, great. Oh, never mind. Hey! Waste not, want not. Should you be cutting someone's hair this afternoon, anyway? Oh, some farmer's wife who's got a bird's nest on her head. I don't think she'll notice. What's with the uh, spathy film sensation, then? Oh, very clever, Nick. It's a bribe to get her brother to have a party in his new house. <laughs> oh, nice. Lady Muck will love that. <laughs> you what? Kim. Oh. oh, you mean you don't know? <laughs> She's moved in. So, how's it going? I'm not being funny, Terry, but right now you're the last person I feel like talking to. Yeah? Well, I thought we got all that sorted out. So did I. So did I, but I was wrong. Way off beam. With the lady of the manor? Yep. <sighs> He's got some bottle. <laughs> you could call it that. I can't believe it. I thought he'd seen sense. You don't like her, then? Like her? She's a right snotty cow. <sighs> Linda, it won't last. I give it a week, two tops. You see, she won't be satisfied because she's used to the life of luxury at home farm. There's no way will she be happy with that pokey little cottage. Hey, that pokey little cottage used to be my home. And here's me thinking Emmerdale life was quiet. Penny for them. What? <laughs> They're not worth it. There you go again, doing yourself down. Yeah, well... Just goes to prove that I haven't got that go-getter instinct. Steve would say, I'll give you five pence for him and you're on. <laughs> Steve, eh? 
So you're giving the job offer some thought? It'd be nice to have some independence. Some more responsibility, some more money. <laughs> well, I know what Jack would say. You should have thought about that before you had a family and a baby. <laughs> yeah, I know what Chris would say. I'm the go-getter, H. Leave it to me. Doesn't mean they're right, though. Yeah, come on, he's round here working. Got visitors. Go on, get off with your mates. I'll finish up here. You sure? Yeah, you're on holiday, aren't you? Yeah, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry about this. Well, they wouldn't stay in the house. Neither would you. Why? Well, what's been going on? Well, it's Mum and Vic. They're fighting all the time. They're getting divorced. Oh, you're joking. Viv, talk to me, please. We've got to sort this out. I don't know what I can say to you that will make you believe me, but I'm really sorry. I've treated you badly. I've taken you for granted. But I, I promise you, it'll never happen again. As long as I live. Oh, come on. It's really shaken me, this. It's not me sideways. Viv, I'm scared I'm going to lose you. Ah, where am I going? Hang on. <laughs> right. You, re you ready? Yeah. Hey, you said thank you, so you can't change him now. Oh. Well, we can keep him up until... Well, until Mum and Dad have been round for dinner. <laughs> So how was your day? Pretty dreadful. Nobody minds I'll take this upstairs. I need a bath. I'm off now, Frank, if that's all right. Of course. Your dinner's in the oven. Will you be all right? Me? Of course I will. Only we might go down the woolly later, if you fancy a stroll. Who's we? I don't know. Me and our man. Sam, Butch, me dad. Oh, and his new fancy woman, if we're really unlucky. I don't think so, Tina. Suit yourself. I don't think your father would be thrilled if I turned up. Why is that? Well, lots of reasons. The eviction, for one. That was a long time ago. Not so long that he'd want me as a drinking buddy. You're not so different, you know. You and me, Dad. You'd like to think so, but you're not. Oh, yeah. What do you know about me, Mum? She's not here. Why is she not here? Because she's another one who thought the grass were always greener. Good night, Frank. Good night, Sina. Will you look at this? Speak no evil, hear no evil, and see no evil. Have you three not moved off there all day? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, Zach, they don't take after you. No, well, Mother used to spoil them. Like you spoiled me today. Do you want to see? No. No. Oh. Uh, what's for tea, man? Scotch mist. Huh? Because when I got there, the kitty was bare. That'll be our Tina, little minx. She dips into it. Anyway, van's outside. Fish and chips be all right. Ooh, smashing. <laughs> Only, uh, take your time, kids. Uh, could do with a lie down, you know. I'm a cream crackhead. Oh, me too. <laughs> Takes it out of you just spending. <laughs> Slapper. Right then. Got fish and chips all round. <laughs> and mushy peas. For one. Mandy, you're not. What? An old catering trick, Sam. You got a thing about bathrooms? No. Nope. Somebody else. I wouldn't be here if I had a choice. Oh? I don't mean to sound ungrateful. The house is brilliant. Emma's great. 
You'd probably be sound if I got to know you. Emma certainly thinks so. I know I'm in the way. Any friend of Emma's is, is a, a friend. friend of yours. Do you know why she finished with me? It's none of my business. Because I'm a walking disaster. A drama queen, if you prefer. I blunder from one trauma to another. And yeah, probably a lot of it is my fault. That's why I'm sitting here with no job, no home, no money. Are you sure she didn't tell you? Nope. All that stuff's a buzz for a while. Living your life at 70 miles an hour. You get sick of it pretty quickly, though. Emma did. You've got it sorted. That's what Emma wanted. That's what Emma deserves. So what? Emma's just with me because I'm respectable. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying at all. What then? Emma took me in because she felt sorry for me. She lives with you because she loves you. That's all. Zoe! What's going on? Nothing. I meant what I said. Stay as long as you need. Thanks. Why didn't you phone? We've been worried sick. Oh, come on, say something. Would have stayed out late if it weren't for her. What? Surprised you noticed. Why? You've been fighting all day, all week. Well, look, your mother and I, we got something we want to tell you. You don't need to. Hey? Eh? We know. You're getting a divorce. You are, aren't you? No! Vic? Whatever give you that idea? You've been at each other's throats for days. Yeah, well, y your mother and I, we've, uh... We've had our differences, but uh, I realise now that uh, it's most of it my fault, you know. Well, all of it's my fault, in fact. But uh, we're not going to get divorced. We, uh, we love each other very much. You silly <laughs> girls, come here. <laughs> and you. <laughs> get off. Come here. <laughs> You're back into it, you pair of puddings. You know, I'm beginning to regret setting him on up here. It's like you created a monster there, Dad. Yeah, will you tell him or shall I? So anyway, it set me thinking. That cottage that David used to have up at home farm. For all of about two weeks. Yeah, well, it's empty again, isn't it? Yeah. So, why shouldn't Biff have first refusal? You mean Biff or you and Biff? Well... Both of us. Once we're married, he's practically doing the same job as our David used to for even less money. He's entitled to some perks. I'm your boss. <laughs> no! 